<laughs> Abominable. Indeed. You politicians, you presidents, Biden, right. Trump, yeah. and whoever win the next election, I don't care who you are. That's right. Once I find out who you are, I'm going to blast you to hell too. That's right. And uh, and Bible says this will I do if God permit. So I am persuaded. I'm very much persuaded that the word of God won't change, viewers. And uh, I meant I had some letters for Dan the man to read. And uh, we got quite a bit of them already done bombarded us just in January. I mean, stacks of them. And since this election been going on and Trump followers been watching and hear me blast this message. And they sent me quite a bit of quite a bit of letters laying me out, calling me all sort of unrighteous things. And I meant to read your letters and God willing, I get a chance maybe to read a few of them. <laughs> but one of them sent me an interesting letter. He said, well, I hope you're glad now that Biden will be in the White House. He said, just a note, Mr. Jennings, you don't be surprised when he put all you Negroes in chains. I didn't know they still use that word. I really didn't. You know, I really, I really didn't know that y'all still use Negroes. But uh, Biden won't put us in chains. <clears throat> Sin is what got you in chains. That's what have you in chains. Sin and your ignorance to what God's perfect divine will is. All right. Uh, before I get into what we want to work on, I want to answer a question here. Uh, in the eighth chapter book of Proverbs, I'm asked who was that that was with God from the beginning? Yes. Ah. You better give me the eighth chapter of the book of Proverbs and begin about verse 21, mm -hmm. because this is the scripture that the Jehovah Witnesses use to justify their two God teaching. Yeah. They say the almighty is a big God, Jehovah. He's the big God. And Jesus, the son of God, well, is a little God. Yeah. And uh, so when they wrote me about this scripture, they said the church they go to is teaching. They claim they believe is one God, but they're using this scripture to say that the begotten son of God. Now, I want you to hear the old troublemaker and get my language. The begotten flesh and blood that Mary birthed was with Jesus since the beginning. Hmm. Now, if the begotten body of flesh and blood that Mary birthed was with Jesus from the beginning, that would deprive Jesus from having a birthday that's right because God don't have no beginning of days no end of life that's right the begotten body of flesh and blood did not always exist for all things cannot be in men listen Ecclesiastes chapter 17 and verse 30 yes you give me some more juice too back there uh, Williams I like uh, he sound pretty sound pretty strong this morning Amen. Uh, man yeah man you sound pretty strong this morning <laughs> Reese he must give you a good breakfast <laughs> All right, come on. Uh, in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 17 and verse 30. Follow me and get me. For all things cannot be in men. All things cannot be in men. Because the son of man. Because the son of man. Is not immortal. The son of man is not spirit. That's right. The son of man was mortal. That's right. The title that the son of God had, son of man, means son of a prophet. Concerning his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Listen. In Romans chapter 1, we're at verse 3. Concerning his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Which was made. Oh, that there's something about the Lord that was made. That's right. You got to keep in mind Psalms 103. Mm-hmm. Know ye the Lord that he is that God. He is God. He is God. But now the New Testament says, give chapter and verse again. Romans chapter one, we're at verse three. Says what? Concerning his son. Concerning his son. Jesus Christ, our Lord. There's something about the Lord that was made. That's right. Uh -huh. Which was made of the seed of David. Pertaining uh, to what? According to the flesh. He was related to David how? According to the flesh. He was David's son, how? According to the flesh. He was the son of man, how? According to the flesh. He was the son of God, how? According to the flesh. Well, Pastor Jennings, would you say nothing about the son of God was here?
before the world was? Oh yeah, there was oh, something yes. here. In the book sure. of First Peter. Something was here about the Son of God. That's right. Before. That's right. The world was. That's right. What 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 was it, Jennings? <laughs> it was the thought of him. That's right. That's right. He exists in the mind of God. That's right. For sacrificial purposes. In the book of 1 Peter chapter 1. Listen to what I'm about to say now. For the purpose of sacrifice. That's right. He was in God's mind. That's right. But the body to be sacrificed wasn't in the beginning with God as a physical body. That's right. Remember, it was called the only begotten. begotten. The moment you said begotten, that means something is conceived. That's right. And it must be born. That's right. Now, let's get some Bible and I show you that, yes, something of the Son of God exists. Mm -hmm. Before he was born, and it was the thought of his arrival. First Peter chapter Another 1. Another word mm -hmm. is called predestination That's right. or being foreordained. That's right. I want to take this apart and strip it bare. Follow me in your Bible. First Peter chapter 1, we're starting at verse 18. All right. For as much as you know that you were not redeemed with corruptible things. Such as what? As silver and gold from your vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers. Yes. But with the precious blood of Christ. With the precious blood of Christ. Of Christ. As of a lamb without blood. As of a lamb without blemish or without spot. Who verily was foreordained. Wait a minute. <laughs> Amen. Who was foreordained. Ordained. He Be was predestinated. Before the foundation of the world. Before the world was. But was manifested. That's right. That's right. He was foreordained before the foundation of the world. But there was an appointed time mm -hmm. for the manifestation of that which was preordained to be seen. That's right. Did you hear what I just said? That's right. There was an appointed time, hear the old man now, mm -hmm. for the manifestation yeah. of that which was preordained. To be seen. That's right. It was a particular time that it had to be seen. That's right. And time had to come in the fullness. That's right. Go ahead. Go to God. That's right. I, I believe Brother Paul said, even so we were children, children in bondage under the under elements, the of, elements the world. of the world. But when the fullness of the time was come. What? When the fullness of the time was come. Now, the Hallelujah. time had to come in the fullness, fullness for the manifestation of that which was preordained. That's right. And when the fullness of time came, God sent forth his son. And where did he send forth his son from? Made of a woman. That's right. Where did he send his son from? Made of a woman. Where did he send his son from? Made of a woman. During what period of time? Made under the law. That can't be heaven. Amen. That's right. Can't be. Amen. That cannot be heaven. That's right. What you mean under the law? Moses' law and Moses' law was not in heaven. No. And Moses did not exist. That's right. And heaven <laughs> made under the law. That's right. To redeem them. That were under the that law. That was under the law. That we might receive the adoption of sons. Hallelujah. God had to come in the flesh. Yeah. And set up his own adoption agency. That's right. Amen. And in order for the adoption papers to go through, he couldn't go through until Hallelujah. some death be Hallelujah. given. That's right. God couldn't die. That's right. God is eternal. Yeah. God is perpetual. That's right. God is everlasting. That's right. God have no beginning and God have no ending. That's right. So in order for a sacrifice to be offered, God couldn't offer himself. That's right. That's right. So you know what God did? Amen. To keep the sacrifice spotless yeah. and to keep sacrifice perfect. Yeah. He couldn't allow none of the animals that he created right. 
to be offered for us. For it is not possible. Because they were contaminated with the same Hallelujah. condition of the world, Hallelujah. the fall of Adam. For it is not possible. Listen at what the word of God says. In Hebrews chapter 10 and at verse 4. It's not, not possible. possible. That the blood of bulls. Oh, God, that the blood of bulls and of goats, goats should take away sin. Take away sin. Wherefore, when Hallelujah. he cometh, when he into the world, when he come into the world, he said, "Sacrifice and wait, offering thou wouldest he not." Gonna mm -hmm. He gonna say, "Sacrifice and offering thou wouldest not." But a body, a what? A body, a what? A body, a what? A body. What did he do with the body? Hast thou prepared me? That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The body Hallelujah. was the Son of God. That's right. The body Hallelujah. was the sacrifice of God. That's right. The body That's right. was the man of God. That's right. The body yeah. was the servant of God. That's right. The body was a high priest of God. That's right. The body yeah. was an apostle of God. That's right. The body was a minister of God Hallelujah. of God That's right. the body was the prophet of God That's right. do you see what I'm telling wherefore when he cometh into the world wherefore when he cometh into the world when he Hallelujah. come into the world he says sacrifice and offering now, God would it's not when the son of God came into the world Hallelujah. where did he come from and where was he traveling from right. to get into the world? That's right. All right, you listen to the old man. Where did the Son of God, Christ Jesus, the flesh and blood body? Someone said, well, why were you talking about the Son of God? You, talk, you always refer to the body. Because yeah. that's what the Bible refers to. That's right. Give me Luke chapter 1. Luke chapter 1, we're at verse 31. Mary's son. Listen, listen. Mary's son was a boy. Hmm. <laughs> Go ahead, man. <laughs> Go ahead. I have to make it so plain. Make, make it plain. Mary's son was a boy. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Until the Bible called him a man child. That's right. Don't tell me a boy <laughs> came from heaven. That's right. That's right. That's right. If it came from heaven, how did it get into the embryonic sack? Did it come from heaven and was thrown in the sack? <laughs> Amen. Amen. And did it come down a man? And then turned to a baby, went to a womb, come out, and grew back up to a man again? That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead, man. His flesh will be offered to sanctify his people. That's right. He didn't need no flesh in heaven. That's right. Why? There was no altar for it to be offered. That's right. He wouldn't be pierced in heaven. Right. And he couldn't die in heaven. By the which will we are sanctified. Listen at this yeah. now. I want to show you how the son of God was a man child here on earth, body of flesh and blood. And the reason why we talk about the flesh and blood as being God's son, that's what the Bible says. That's right. Listen. In Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 10. And then I want Luke chapter 1. And verse 31. Follow me. Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 10. All right. By the which will we are sanctified. We are set apart. Through the offering of the body. Of Jesus Christ. Wait a minute. Amen. Wait a minute. Amen. Where what? By the which will we are sanctified. We are sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ. The offering of what? Through through the uh, through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ. The offering of what? Through the offering of the body. The of body. Jesus, the body. The body. The body. You better give me Saint John three sixteen. Saint John three sixteen. Let's get the offering of the body. Then I want Mark fifteen thirty nine. That's right. Saint John chapter three and verse sixteen. You know that scripture, viewers. <laughs> God so loved the world. <laughs> Amen. God so loved the world. Gave his, Wait a minute. He did. How did he do it? That he gave. He gave. His only begotten son. And what the Hebrew said? By the which will we are sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ. And what did John say? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Now let's see what happened to the son 
When it was offered, Mark. Mark chapter 15 and at verse 39. Yes. And when the centurion which stood over against him. You see all this Bible? <laughs> Amen. This is Bible program. <laughs> That's right. We connect scriptures where you just got to see it. That's right. All right. Mark 15 and verse 39. But as and when the centurion which stood over against him. Wait a minute. When the centurion which stood over against him. Saw that he so cried out. So, wait a minute. They were looking at a body crying. That's right. They saw a man, child, a man That's crying right. out. And he gave up the ghost. And saw him die. He said, truly this man. Truly, what part? This man. What part? This man. Even though it was a man, it still was Mary's son. That's right. That's right. When my mother see me, I'm a grown man. That's right. She said, that's my boy. That's right. That's right. That's my son. That's right. That's right. So my wife come in. That's my husband. Yeah. Don't look for nobody else. That's right. Children come along. Hey, pop. Hey, dad. Don't look for another. That's right. I'm son, husband, father. Yeah. It ain't three distinct deities in the Jennings. <laughs> That's right. Don't be an infidel. You're infidel. Amen. My first manifestation is son. Yeah. My second manifestation is husband. That's right. My third manifestation is father. That's right. The many functions by the one Jennings. Yeah. Now, if you can see that, why can't you see there's many functions by the one God? That's right. That's right. Let me make it more plain. Look at you, preacher. Many functions by the one false prophet. <laughs> You're a false prophet? One function. A liar? Another function. A deceiver, another function. That's right. Some of you are homosexuals, never another function. That's right. Some of you are wife beaters, yeah. another function. Yeah. Oh, it's a whole lot of functions to you too. It's a whole lot. But you're still a false prophet. <laughs> That's right. Come on, William. Truly, this man. Truly, the man was the son of God. All right, let's straighten it out with Luke now. Now I want to show you where the son of God body. The body. How in the world are you going to call a body anything else? <laughs> when a body is born, the doctors can tell whether it's a son or daughter. That's right. Are you getting me? That's right. They wasn't doing back then like they're doing now, debating over gender. <laughs> no, no. No. Oh, no. No way. When that body was born, truly son. And the whole man child. That's right. Give me the first chapter of the book of Luke. Now in St. Luke chapter 1, we're at verse 31. Yes. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb. Behold. Amen. Thou shalt conceive in thy womb. And, and bring forth a son. You're going to bring him forth. And bring. Hold it. That's right. You're going to bring him forth. That's right. He's going to consist of flesh and blood. You're going to bring him forth. That's the right. God was no spirit. No. No. Son of God was made for to be sacrificed. That's right. You can't sacrifice a spirit. <laughs> That's right. Spirit ain't got no blood to shed for nobody. That's right. Why are you thinking the 35th chapter of Isaiah? It says, when your God, God shall God. come, and yet our God been here. That's right. Don't worry, take God, but it says, your God shall come. Shall come. That lets you know he's going to come in a manner that he never came before. That's right. He never, he was in man before. Yeah. But he never took on the body. That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. He was in man before yeah. because God was in the prophets. Yeah. But he never took on the body. That's right. This time he would go to the house of David, to the tribe of Judah. And when he makes a body, now he takes it all. And took upon him the form of what? a servant. And took upon him the oh, form of a God. servant. Did you hear Paul when he went down to the Philippian church? In the book of Philippians chapter 2 and at verse 7. He took upon him. And took upon him the form of a servant. The same that he took on was flesh and blood. And was made. What? And was made. He was what? And was made. In the likeness of when David. a thing is made, it didn't always exist. That's right. Hallelujah. So where was he made at? That's right. In the house of David, mm -hmm. in the tribe of Judah, right. in the body of the woman Mary. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb. Thou shalt conceive in thy womb and, and bring forth a what? A son. Gonna bring forth what? A son. What are we gonna call him? And shall call his name Jesus. And what was he called? 
and thou shalt bring forth a son. That's when God was manifested. Yes. In, in the, flesh. the flesh. In the flesh. The flesh was called son of God. <laughs> All right, right, now let's straighten out this Proverbs. Yes, yes. In the eighth chapter book of Proverbs, yes. looking at 21. Yes. Because infidels believe that uh, Jesus is not God, but he was with God. Uh-huh, you know, uh, <laughs> let me just throw this at you so you can think in advance. Jesus is a hymn. That's right. And Jesus is a he. That's right. But he is not a her or a she. That's right. Now, once he began to read this, I will, God, with God help, enlarge your understanding. You would understand why I uttered these things. So you that have said that this means the son of God, flesh and blood body was with Jesus from the beginning. Mm -hmm. You didn't get the language of the Bible. No. We're going to read their verses. And then we're going to go all the way up to verse one. We're going to get in reverse. Amen. And I'm going to show you that it ain't talking about Jesus. Yeah. Uh -uh. All right. Proverbs. Come on, uh, William. Let's get busy. Proverbs 8 and at verse 21. Follow me. That I may cause those that love me to inherit substance. Yes. And I will fill their treasure. Uh -huh. The Lord possessed me in the beginning of his way. The Lord possessed me in the beginning of his way and the beginning of his way before his works of old before he done any works of old i was set up from everlasting <laughs> amen i i was set up was set up from everlasting from everlasting and these unbelievers said that was the son of god that was set up yeah. from everlasting it yeah. was it was it was my lord you better keep reading william i was set up from everlasting i was set up from everlasting from the beginning from the beginning or ever the earth was or the earth was when there were no depths when i was there brought was forth. no depths i was brought forth if that was talking about the son of god where was he brought forth from that's right because i can find where he was brought, he brought forth, forth from, from mary <laughs> that's right but i can't find where he was brought forth from anywhere else that's right you better listen now when there were no depths i was brought forth before there was depths i was brought forth when there were no fountains abounding with water yes before the mountains were settled yeah before the hills was i brought forth i'm laughing because it just sounds good and it's tickling my sanctified bosom amen <laughs> Oh, as yet he had not made the earth, nor the fields, nor the highest part yes. of the dust of the world. Uh -huh. When he prepared the heavens, I was there. You see, when you don't, when you're not sent by God. That's right. And you don't have the understanding of God. Yeah. That's not talking about Jesus. That's right. No. No. He said, what, what did he say there? When he prepared the heavens. When he prepared the heavens. I was there. Notice he didn't say he was there. No, I was there. Or him was there. That's right. He said, I. I was there. Was there. When he set a compass upon the face of the depth. When he gave the depth a sense of direction. When he that's, what, that's what a compass is. Go ahead. A compass determined your direction. And he set a compass in the face of the depth because it's written, he gave the sea her decree. That's right. Let the sea know when the wash is short, when the tide should mm. come in, and when it should stay where it's at. Go ahead. Oh, Richard, God, do you hear? When he set a compass upon the face of the depth. Yes. When he established the clouds above. Yes. When he strengthened the fountains of the deep. Yes. When he gave the sea his decree uh -huh. that the water should not pass his commandment. Yes. When he appointed the foundations of the earth, mm -hmm. then I was by him. I was right there with him. Then I was by him. And? As one brought up with him. I was, I was just like one brought up. Brought up with him. I was like one brought up with, do you hear what he said? Then I was by him. I was by him. As one brought as up. As one. As one that is. As one. Brought up with you him. You would think that me and God grew up together. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. Hallelujah to God. Then I was by him. I was by by him as one brought as up as one brought up with that's him. how close we were that's right Amen. that's how close we were that's right Hallelujah. well how close is it pastor Janice God Hallelujah. know that Hallelujah. and that knows God that's right Hallelujah. that's right Amen. now Go ahead, brother. let me crack the atom and molecules out of it yeah no yeah. That wasn't that wasn't talking about Jesus, no. the Son of God, flesh and blood. Right. No. Oh no. 
This is what you fellas overlook. Now let's start at verse one. Proverbs chapter eight and at verse one. <laughs> Eh? Doeth not wisdom cry. Doeth not wisdom cry. Wisdom cry. And understanding put forth her voice. No, no, you focus on what you're reading, son. Doeth not wisdom cry. Doeth not wisdom cry. And understanding. Understanding. Put forth her voice. Her. Her. It ain't talking about a he. No. Are you getting cold? It's talking about her. Her. So glory, glory, glory to God. That's right. <laughs> you fellas that thought that was talking about the son of God, Christ Jesus. Yeah. Was with God doing all that stuff? No. No. You're so blind. What? Leave the Bible alone. That's right. You overlook. Let's start at verse one. Proverbs 8 and let's verse dissect one. it and strip it bad. And then once you leave there, I want the wisdom of Solomon. Yeah. Chapter eight. Yes. Begin at verse one. Amen. All right. Follow me now. Let's educate you and go to school. Do it not wisdom cry. Do not wisdom cry. And understanding. And understanding. Put forth her voice. Put forth her voice. Hold it. Wisdom cry. Cry. You know, wisdom is called her and she. Yeah. Because a woman carries child. Yeah. Male, female. That's right. And when she cries, it's because what's in her, she's pushing it out. That's right. And uh, it's causing pain. That's right. Wisdom brings out understanding. That's right. And also produces knowledge. That's right. And many times when understanding and knowledge is brought forth by wisdom, it causes pain. That's right. Because there are some things you wish you didn't know. Yeah. Eh? That's right. Glory to God. There's just some things you wish you didn't know. Because the more you know, the more is required. Amen. Glory to God. That's right. All right, what did he say? Do it not wisdom cry. Do not wisdom cry. And understanding put forth her voice. Blessed be God. Understanding. Hallelujah. Put forth her voice. She standeth in the top of high places. You infidel said I was talking about Jesus, the son of God. Jesus ain't no she. That's right. Jesus said if you don't believe that I am he. I am he. You are dying. That's right. That's not talking about the son of man. No. That's not talking about the son of God. No. That's talking about wisdom. She standeth. She stands. In the top of high places. Wisdom. That's how it can come up with God. That's right. Because he's the only wise God. That's right. Well, wait a minute, Pastor Janice. If it's wisdom, then why would wisdom call she? Yeah. Because wisdom is precious yeah. and delicate. And God wants you to handle his wisdom with delicacy and be gentle with it. That's Paul right. says it this way. Don't not handling the word of God deceitfully. You know, you just can't be rough with it. Got to take your time. Yeah. Huh? That's right. Take your time. Break it down. Take it apart. That's right. You know, when you love that woman, you're gentle with her. Yeah. When you love wisdom. You'll be good to her. That's right. You'll handle her with respect. Yeah. Why? You look to get from wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. So when she talk, listen. Yeah. Because she has something valuable. Yeah. Wisdom is always pregnant. That's right. Wisdom is always carrying knowledge. That's why knowledge just keep coming out of oh, wisdom. Yeah. Understanding keep coming out of wisdom. Wisdom is never barren. That's right. Eh? That's right. Wisdom, glory to God, is never barren. Amen. I hope you get this. Do it not wisdom cry. Oh, yeah. And understanding put forth her and voice. And understanding put forth her voice. She standeth in the top of high places. She Amen. Stand. She. She standeth in the top of high places. About Jesus, the Son of God, your infidels. That's right. She. She standeth in the top of Stand high places. in the top of high places. By the way, in the places of the past. By the way, in Amen. the places of the past. Why is wisdom there? It's where you. It's where you're journeying. That's right. That's what they're saying. That's right. By the way. By the way, in the places of the past. Where you travel, wisdom is there. That's right. Your wisdom is to inform you where not to go. Yeah. How and where you should go. Yeah. Wisdom says this. A good man steps his order by the Lord, oh. and he direct the path. That's right. All right. She cries at the gates. Look at here. Amen. She, she cries. She cries at the gates. Crying at the gate. At the entry of the city. At the entry of the city. At the coming in at the door. 
Yeah. Unto you, old men, I call. Unto you, old men, I call. I call. Wisdom, she, she is calling the men. That's right. Uh -huh. And my voice is to the sons of man. My voice. Glory to God is to the sons of man. Oh, ye simple. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Amen. You that said that scripture is talking about Jesus is with God. Oh, ye simple. You that says that's a little God with the big God. Oh, ye simple. You're simple. Simple. Mm -hmm. Understand wisdom. Understand her. And ye fools. And ye fools. Be, be ye of an understanding heart. Be ye of an understanding heart. Here. Here. For I will speak of excellent things. I will speak of it. Wisdom is talking here. That's right. I will speak of excellent things. And the opening of my lips shall be right things. Yes. For my mouth shall speak truth. My mouth. My mouth shall speak truth. It's just simply talk about the manifestation of God's word. That's it. My mouth shall speak truth. So God is calling his speech her. Her. Because it's precious. And God's speech produces right. a church. That's right. It is written. He make manifest his word through preaching. Through preaching. Through preaching. And when you preach the word, it produces a people. That's right. That's why that people, they that gladly receive his Word. His word. We're baptized. That's right. Uh -huh. For my mouth shall speak truth. Yes. And wickedness is an abomination to my lips. Uh -huh. All the words of my mouth are in righteousness. Amen. Amen. All the words that's in the mouth of God are in righteousness. It's right. There is nothing forward or perverse in them. Nothing wrong with what God said. They are all plain to him that understands. Uh -huh. And write to them that find knowledge. Yes. Receive my instruction and not silver. Yes. And knowledge rather than choice. What gold. verse you on? Now I'm at verse 11. All right, read on. For wisdom is better than rubies. Amen. <laughs>